Hello, everybody, and welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Thursday, September 10th, 2020. Let's get these cards shuffled up, and let's see what today's energy is going to be all about. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. The weather's been really cool where I've been. As far as cool, I mean really nice, not too warm, not too cold. And hopefully you guys are just enjoying your time, enjoying the moments and enjoying what you're making out of your goals. So let's see what these cards have to show us and tell us. Let's put our first pile down, our second, and finally now, last but not least, our third pile. And let's see, today, today I'm vibing with this middle pile. So let's see what we have for a card, shall we? And we have the Seven of Swords. So let's talk a bit about the Swords and about the Seven of Swords. So with Swords, as you know, we're looking at finance. Um, as you know, we're looking at intellect. We're looking at thoughts. We're looking at ideas. Most importantly, we're looking at communication, right? So when we look at the Seven of Swords, some things that pop up and some things that really come to mind for me um, is trickery, um, potential cheating, lying, um, theft, underhandedness, obviously not all that um, positive um, of imagery, right? Um, risky behavior comes to mind. But along with that, sharp wit comes to mind. Um, courage, adaptability comes to mind. So there's a lot of ups and downs when we look at the energy of the Seven of Cards. Um, the Swords is an air card. So again, it brings us to thoughts, ideas, communications, intellect, things that are not really tangible, but yet are vital and important. The way we speak, the way we talk to people has impact upon us as well as them. And it's something to be mindful of today. Um, when we look at how this aligns with um, the major arcana, this is all about the chariot. Um, so the chariot is about finding a solution that's going to bring you exactly what you want. The chariot's about just being aware of um, not taking any one action too quickly. Um, not putting so much control into one situation that you're not using thought in it, that you're not using your mind in it, and they're not really thinking about what the consequences are. And that can be said a lot with the way we sometimes speak. Sometimes we'll speak without really thinking, and it's better to take a time out than it is to actually get involved in saying something that is always, that's going to be hurtful to you or to others. So some thoughts to think about when we look at this card is um, really take only what you need um, out of any conversation, out of any context, out of anything that's going on right now. Um, you don't need to take in all the extra stuff and you certainly don't need to take on more ba baggage and luggage. Um, also, know who your friends are, know who your friends aren't, right? Sometimes our friends aren't really our friends and sometimes our enemies aren't really our enemies. It's all about where we are in life and it's all about how we're looking at things. So obviously be mindful of the people you're associating with, but more importantly, the people you're freely speaking with because this is the swords, um, swords card. So when we look at how we're gonna approach our day today, my personal opinion is go out there, um, keeping that high road, go out there and do what you want to do to make your goals work and make yourself closer to them. But along with that, be mindful of not speaking off the cuff, not speaking without thinking and um, being hurtful. Now, one of the other aspects to consider is um, how um, the Seven of Swords, um, actually the swords themselves, relate to um, our signs. So the swords themselves relate to Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Use that information as you will. Um, it can be useful for you if you're Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius, or it could be useful for you if you actually use signs and you look at how you approach people versus um, how you do not approach people. So long story short, this is definitely a Thursday card, I think. It's all about using our mind. It's all about using our intellect. And it's all about taking a higher path and not getting involved in the petty stuff. And definitely not shooting our mouths off without thinking first. Because words come out, we can't take those back. And um, they can be hurtful. They can be hurtful to you. They can be hurtful to others. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow on Friday. Until then, be safe, be well, and be blessed.